Hey, my friend, this is Pastor Mike. And in case you missed yesterday's interview that I had with singer and songwriter Melanie Penn that I put in the sermon for online worship, well, I want to share the interview and the song she recorded just for us, the song called You're Not Absent. I want to share it with you today to be encouraged and blessed by it. So take a look at what Melanie Penn has to say about God's ever presence with us and how God is not absent from anywhere that we are. Take a look. All right, my friends, I'm here with my new friend and now our new friend, Melanie Penn, who's a singer and songwriter and a Christian and artist. And uh, so happy that we can connect, Melanie. Thank you for taking some time to be with us today. Good morning, St. Luke. I just want to take a moment and invite Melanie to share with us what is the what is the background to that song you're not absent what inspired it and all that so yeah well pastor mike thank you so much for that intro and it's so nice to meet everyone at saint luke maybe soon we'll be together in person when the time is right um i wrote you're not absent so i'm a new york city resident and i ended up being quarantined in southern virginia with my parents and as we all can relate to, it was a very lonely time. I mean, life just stopped. And so it, as I tend to do, because I'm a songwriter in lonely times, I write songs. And I, this song called You're Not Absent started to come out. And it is a song about how even, even when we're isolated from our friends and our loved ones and our coworkers, God is never absent. God is still very present. And God is still very present in trials of many kinds. That's what the song is about. And I ended up recording it, you know, in the studio, socially distant recording. And the song will come out on an album in September. And the whole album came out of the quarantine. But, you know, now that, now that we're farther along in this COVID journey as a society, I have thought about you're not absent in a little bit of a different way, which is that, you know, right now, so many of our civic spaces are empty. I mean, St. Luke, you know, your sanctuary is empty right now. Our schools are empty, our sports arenas, our music venues, a lot of our stores in New York City, all our restaurants are closed inside. You know, there is emptiness in our culture, physical emptiness. And I, I believe that God is not absent from those empty spaces. God is in those empty spaces going before us, inhabiting them for us, and getting them ready for us to come back. So it's, the song works in two ways. It's an acknowledgement that God is always present. And it's also an acknowledgement that God goes before us into empty spaces and prepares them for us. That's awesome. And you're absolutely right. God goes before us into those places, like in our homes and different places that sometimes we don't expect God to be there, but God's already there saying, here I am. And uh, now we're getting more aware of God's ever presence, the omnipresence, the quote unquote omnipresence of the Lord. And if God's present with us, God's going to do good things among us. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we have a whole as our society reopens, when we're, you know, when that time arrives, there's a new chapter ahead. And it could be that God is preparing us for this new chapter and preparing the world for this new chapter in, in a very exciting way. So I, I like to uh, look forward with that perspective, because it's very easy to look forward with a, with a kind of a more pessimistic perspective. And I don't think in light of the gospel, that we have to be pessimists. We can be optimists. I think faith is an optimistic, there's an optimism within faith that expects yes. something that God's going to do something and God is doing something. And just as God's done something in the past, God's doing something now and will continue to do those faithful things. Melanie, thank you so much for sharing that with us, uh, those wise words. And Let's take a listen to uh, Melanie Penn as she shares, You're Not Absent. If a tree falls down in a forest, will it make a sound? Get up off the floor if my friends were around, but I 
upon you now Cause you're not absent, no you haven't Left us through anything that's happened You're moving, it's a new thing We don't know just yet what you were doing You're not absent, you're active in the can Drowned out while the storm is outside raging on But I will wait upon you now Cause you're not absent, no you haven't Left us through anything that's happened You're moving, it's a new thing We don't know just yet what you are doing you're not absent, you're active in the cannon blast, we're not abandoned. You're not absent in the chasm, between now and when this all passes. I believe you are carrying us through. There's a higher place you're leading us into. Okay.